Hey guys, how's it going today? Welcome to Precision Machine Shed. What we have going on today is part two of the Precision Mauser build. What we're going to do today is go over putting a recessed target crown on our Mauser barrel. It's pretty simple, so stay tuned. All right, we're going to pick up where we left off here. So last time what we did is we crowned this by hand and then we just cut it, faced it off on the lathe to see how close we are. Now today we're going to put uh, I think I'm going to put a recessed, uh, just a hunting crown on here. So similar to one of my previous videos I did here a few months, uh, a few weeks ago actually, maybe a month ago. Uh, we're going to just do a 90 degree to the bore, straight out, about halfway across the crown. And then we're going to come in, pull out at a 45 degree, and then come back. So this will make a little more sense once we cut it. So I'm going to make my first few cuts here, and I'm only going to go in maybe 10, 20 thousandths deep for my recess, and then uh, we'll get cutting. All right, so what I want to do now is I'm gonna go hand stone my bit here, and then I'm gonna come in for one final cut, and then we'll finish it off. Step. Break this edge just so when it's going in and out of rifle cases and such, it's not a sharp edge to, to bump things on. So we're just going to take a, a fine file, break that edge. Be. Look at that, that's a beautiful crown. If I didn't mention, which I'm pretty sure I did. So we started here inside the crown, or inside the bore, excuse me. We went straight out 90 degrees to this edge right here, and then this is a 45 degree angle, so we set a 45 on our compound. And then once we got out to the edge here, we just pulled straight out 90 degrees. And then we hit the edge here with a file. You could hit this edge with a tool bit too. However, in my opinion, by the time the gases get out this far, the bullet's already gone or it's on its way out. And anything coming back, which not really much comes back, but anything coming back isn't going to affect that. So this is just to protect our cases and, and stuff like that. So as you can see, this is a nice clean cut. We used a nice sharp bit all the way across here. No rips or tears or burrs or anything in the metal or the end of the bore. And I don't know if it shows up on the camera, but you can actually see the edge of each land for the rifling. And we can put a Q-tip through there. Moment of truth, hopefully nothing sticks. Nothing sticks, nothing sticks. Nice, sharp bit. We'll leave that. Only thing left to do is put a little cold blue on there. All right, there it is, all blued up and looking nice. Let me just show you, get a good picture of what that crown looks like exactly. Nice and uniform. Looking good. Looks like it came like that way from the factory. All right, well that was pretty easy. Cut a new crown on a lathe. Uh, not much to it, as you saw. Just set up your compound, take a cut. Take it slow on your last cut. Make sure your bit is nice and sharp and you should get a very nice crown. So, I hope you guys got something out of that and enjoyed watching. If you haven't already, go back and check out part one and I got more to come in the future. So till next time, stay safe on your machines and shoot safe. See you guys next time.